done a makeup menu in a while, so I thought I would crack out another one of those. So this is my makeup menu version two, and it's just makeup that I've really been enjoying wearing recently, kind of like my everyday face. And it's very natural, very simple. There is a bit of eyeshadow for once, but all I've done is I've just rolled out of bed, I've repositioned my hair into something that looks averagely okay. I've washed my face, brushed down my brows, put on a nice top, and now I'm ready to go. And I'm gonna kick things off with this, and this is kind of a new-ish addition for me. I did a post on it the other day, so I'll link it up on my website below. And it's the By Terry Sheer Expert Perfecting Fluid Foundation. And this is in the shade uh, number eight, Intense Beige. This is a good choice if you've kind of tried every single tinted moisturizer out there, but are looking for something a little bit different. This is very sheer like literally looks like you have nothing on your skin and I really really like it actually so I'm going to just take a tiny amount on my fingers and kind of dot it on and then I might blend it in with a brush a little bit later but it's just very very natural and I saw Ruth from a model recommends the other day and her skin looks amazing anyway but her skin was looking particularly fantastic and she credited it down to this foundation she said it's probably one of her favorite foundations of all time so that was like the final push i needed i think i was in space and care about two hours after that conversation picking this up just taking a little tiny bit more on my nose and around the edges which is where i get a little bit of redness and then down onto my neck as well so I think I'm going to leave foundation there, and that was just about a pea-sized blob, just blended out with fingers. I was going to go over it with a brush, but I don't really think it needs it. I'm then going to go in with a bit of concealer, and this is Bobbi Brown, creamy concealer in sand, of course. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes, and kind of around the corners of my nose, where I get a bit of redness. And then just blend that in with my finger. I might go in with the blending brush in a second. And then I'm just going to go in with the Real Techniques buffing brush, just to kind of buff that in a little bit extra. And if you're wondering what is on my nails, it's a Zoya nail polish, and I think it's in the shade Heidi. And I was so impressed. This basically went on opaque in one coat. I put a second one on for like luck, but really, really impressed with the formula so far. I picked up some from Whole Foods the other day, some colours. And I picked up their nail polish remover as well. And the nail polish remover is possibly the coolest thing ever. It's just got the best pump. One of those pumps that you kind of press the cotton pad down on top and it just soaks the cotton pad. Absolutely love that. I'm pretty sure that nail polish remover will be popping up in a monthly favourite sometime soon. But I just blended out all of that concealer with the buffing brush. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of bronzer. And it's not my Nars Laguna for once. It's this and it's the Giorgio Armani uh, Bronze Mania Sheer Bronzer. And the shade of this looks quite strange. It's not your typical kind of orangey toned bronzer. It's almost got like a purple, like ready tone under it. But I just find that on the cheeks, it actually just looks like natural tan. It like leaves a really nice sun-kissed glow. Just gonna take that on a Japanese brush and just kind of use that like where I would naturally tan. So sort of on the tops of cheeks, sort of round on the forehead and then on the chin as well, using it as a bit of a like contour, a bit of colour, sort of everything in one. I really like that, I think it just adds a really nice like amount of dimension to the face while still looking very subtle. Then for brows, I think I'm actually just going to comb them through with a bit of clear mascara and for that I'm going to use the Miss Sporty Clear Mascara. When it comes to clear mascaras, if you're just going to be setting your brows with them, I'm a big believer of just picking up the cheapest thing that you can find, the MUA um, one pound clear mascara is really good as well. I actually just take the excess off it on the back of my hand, just so they don't go too like crispy. And then just brush them through. Keep those bushy babes in place all day. Now my brows are stuck down, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes with the Shea Mirror Eyelash Curlers. So lashes crimped, I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow, and my favorite eyeshadow of the moment has been this, and it's the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Bronzed Taupe. The shade of this is just amazing. Like, I'm not a taupe girl at all. I don't like MAC satin taupe. I'm not really a fan of, like, many taupes, but this is just stunning. It's just the perfect amount of, like, 
bronzy but browny with a slightly purple undertone. It just looks really, really nice. I'm finding, especially with green eyes, it just kind of makes them pop that a little bit more. Unfortunately, this shade is not available in the UK, and the lovely Amelia picked this up for me when she went to New York. But if you can get your hands on it, if you're going to America this summer or something, grab it, pick this up, because it's lovely, really inexpensive, and it lasts really well at the same time. You could apply it um, just with your finger, and I find that with that you get a really like dense, like packed on, bold shade, but I just use it with a MAC T17 brush, kind of dab my brush in on both sides, and then just sweep it out all over my eyelid. Just like that. Just seriously, seriously impressed with the formula of these. Definitely want to pick up more shades. So I'm just washing that all over the lid, taking it into the crease, and then I just blend the real edges with my finger. And it's a good idea to take like a buffing brush or a foundation brush, just like smooth it underneath to make sure that that bit is clear of shadow. Move on to the other eye. I'm just gonna take what's left on my brush under the eyes, but I'm not gonna go too crazy with that. And a few people were asking for a makeup tutorial of the look I was wearing in my last video, and this, is basically it. This is what I've been wearing all the darn time. So that's done, and then I'm gonna move on to mascara, and I'm really liking this one at the moment. It's the Max Factor Full Slash Effect. It's their waterproof version. And I find it gives quite like a fluttery effect. Not my usual L'Oreal Telescopic. I actually have done a post on some alternatives of that, because it just looks like it's not coming back on the shelves anytime soon. So I've been trying out some alternatives. So I'll link that up below. But I like this one. It gives like a little flutter to the lashes and holds a curl. Cause that's what it's all about. So we're almost there. I'm just gonna add something on the lips. And this is the Lana Lips Lemonade Lip Aid with Lemon Oil, which is just awesome. It really moisturizes your lips. It comes in like a little squeezy out tubes, I just squeeze them out and then apply with my fingers. Feels really nice on the lips. It smells amazing. And I kind of just want to lick it all off. So that is the finished look. Nothing revolutionary as always, but I think these videos are quite nice to do because they kind of show you guys my favourites in action. But thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, then make sure that you are because my next video is a get ready with me video and I'm so excited about it. So I really hope you guys like that, but thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.